based on the grain concept um, that Nini Mia Sam explained, um, I will now share some details of the 2017 Accord Hybrid dynamic performance, features, and capabilities. Starting with environmental performance, let me explain how we further improved the fuel economy. <coughs> to increase fuel economy, the development team updated the hybrid system, including the engine, lockup clutch, motors, as well as the power control unit, batteries, and brake system. Now let me explain a little bit about those things in detail. <coughs> First, let's look at the engine. This is a two litre Atkinson cycle, double overhead cam IV tech engine with improved torque output. Moreover, for the first time, this engine utilizes an exhaust heat recovery system. This system recovers exhaust heat and uses it to heat coolant, which lowers the friction earlier and accelerates the start of the EV drive mode. This contributes to improved fuel economy, especially during short trips in a low temperature environments. Now let me explain the PCU and motors which have evolved. The PCU has been made 23% lighter and 27, 23% smaller and 27% lighter. The power semiconductor and ECU were integrated, helping to reduce size. Plus performance was enhanced by reducing the power semiconductor loss. The motor was also made 23% smaller and lighter compared to the previous version and with, through the adoption of various processes. The development team adopted square copper wire instead of the conventional round copper wire, increasing winding wire occupation rate to 60% and used a Honda original high density winding technique which also optimized the production process. These changes helped increase motor output by 14 horsepower and torque by 6 pound-feet. As a result of these efforts to increase the output of the engine and motors, the combined system output is up 16 horsepower from the previous model to 212 horsepower. As for the battery, the team adopted a newly developed battery cell with improved output and higher energy density. <coughs> As for the IPU, the team also improved battery cooling efficiency along with improvements with those battery cells. In addition, they integrated the ECU functions and made auxiliary equipment smaller and lighter. As a result, the IPU was made 33% smaller and 12.8% lighter, which allowed almost an additional square foot of space in the trunk. The brake system was also improved. The development team increased the maximum regenerative torque by 25%, which contributed to the improvement in fuel economy and more linear braking feel. The team also reduced running resistance through meticulous improvements in aerodynamics, such as the inner fender slit, and by making changes to the wheel hub bearings. With improved powertrain, brake system, and reduction of running resistance, the team increased highway fuel economy by 2 miles per gallon and combined fuel economy by 1 mile per gallon compared to the previous 14 model. As you know, the EPA changed its formula for fuel economy calculations for the 2017 model. So, the improvement of fuel economy we achieved through increasing our system efficiency are shown by the numbers in parentheses, which are used to calculation with the same formula we used for the 2014 model. Unfortunately, with this new EPA formula, uh, we lost our magic number of 50 miles per gallon, but we do maintain the highest EPA fuel economy in the mid-size hybrid segment, and our lead should improve as competitors restate their ratings under the new requirements. Now, I'd like to review the operating modes of this next generation two-motor hybrid system. Some of you may already be familiar with the system as it's not fundamentally changed from the 2014-2015 model. However, some of you may not be familiar with this unique powertrain. First off, the powertrain has three distinct drive modes. EV mode, hybrid mode, and engine mode. In this sense, the two-motor system is capable of operating as either a serial or a parallel hybrid based on the needs of the driver. In EV drive, the propulsion motor provides motive force drawing energy from the lithium ion battery. The engine and generator motor are not operating and they are disconnected. The number of gears moving is small, which means less friction. 
In this mode, the Accord Hybrid is operating as an electric-only vehicle. Hopefully that made some sense, but in the case, in the case let's look at it in one uh, different way. <coughs> so, you're at the stoplight and you hit the gas pedal. You start out in the EP drive mode on pure electric power. As you accelerate, and depending upon demand, the engine starts, and now you're in hybrid drive mode. The motor is still driving the wheels, while the engine is providing electric power via the generator to supply the drive motor. Now you're cruising at moderate speed, and you're back in EV mode again with the engine off. As required, the engine will start to re-enter hybrid drive modes, such as when the generator needs to provide electricity to the battery. If you need to accelerate further, such as overtaking another vehicle, you're back in hybrid mode with the generator providing power to the drive motor and, if necessary, additional power provided by the battery for more powerful acceleration. Now you're on the highway, cruising along in traffic. At around 60 miles an hour, depending upon conditions, the lock-up clutch engages and the engine is driving the wheels via a single fixed gear which is roughly the equivalent of a sixth gear or final gear in a conventional transmission. Also, when conditions allow, the powertrain may operate in EV mode drive. Finally, as you step off the gas and before you've engaged the brakes, the electric servo brake system is recapturing deceleration energy. As you engage the brakes, regen continues. Only when a high level of braking force is required do the hydraulically powered friction brakes engage to stop the car. This unique aspect of our technology is all accomplished without a conventional transmission, or even a torque converter some competitors' models employ. No pulleys and only one fixed gear, while I stand corrected if I'm driving there's at least one pulley in the car. <laughs> so, no one else is doing hybrid powertrains quite like this. Hoping that gives you a better understanding of how the system works. Of course, part of what we want you to experience as well is the fun, engaging, a cold hybrid driving experience. The team's concept for the new Accord Hybrid was for even more sophisticated, refined, and fun to drive dynamic character, taking Accord Hybrid performance to the next level. <coughs> this onset radar chart shows the improvements in key areas of dynamic performance over the 14 model including acceleration response, stable and smooth ride quality, and precise and linear braking performance, all of which are improved from the previous model and far exceed our competitors' vehicles. First, let me explain improvements to MVH. The team significantly improved quietness by numerous methods, such as adopting a floor brace bar and dynamic damper, improving powertrain motion control, applying new sound absorbing material and sound insulators in areas such as the fender wells, carpet, and body undercover, and adopting, adopting a laminated acoustic front door glass. They also made changes to body structural members to further enhance quietness. As a new element of the Accord hybrid driving experience, the team also added a driver selectable sport mode to the existing EV and D or drive modes. In order to simultaneously provide excellent throttle response with linear acceleration and reduction in engine RPM, throttle mapping is changed and energy management is also changed to increase battery assist when in sport mode. Also, in the area of front to drive, the team made numerous chassis improvements. The combination of improved electric power steering control the advanced electro servo brake system and improved AR dampers combined to make this the most refined vehicle in its class in terms of precise steering, stable and linear handling, and braking performance. Upgrades of the refreshed 16 model Accord applied a new amplitude reactive damper, which has been further improved for the Accord Hybrid. The team made additional enhancements to the piston and the end cap to realize improved dampening responsiveness, supple handling, and a comfortable ride. The team also worked to improve steering feel by changing the control logic. Regardless of the speed of steering operation, fast or slow, steering response is linear and precise. Combined with the improvements to the suspension and body, secure, linear, and responsive steering is achieved in all driving situations. 
Now let's move on to the advanced area. As you know, the 16 Accord was one of the first high-volume vehicles in the industry to offer both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and the 17 Accord Hybrid joins the Accord in offering the latest customer connectivity. The 2016 Accord also adopted Honda Sensing, joining the Civic, CRV, Pilot, and also now Ridgeline in offering these advanced safety and driver-assisted technologies. Now, all 2017 Accord hybrids come standard with Honda Sensing. Based on information obtained through radar and camera, Honda Sensing offers a broad range of functions such as collision mitigating braking system, which incorporates forward collision warning, and works for both oncoming vehicles and pedestrians, as well as road departure mitigation, which incorporates lane departure warning. Moreover, Honda Sensing makes a Honda Accord Hybrid, the only model in its class to feature lane keeping assist system and adaptive cruise control, which many of you have recognized as enabling semi-autonomous driving under certain circumstances. And like the rest of the Accord lineup, the Hybrid targets top and class safety ratings from both NHTSA and IIHS, a five-star overall vehicle score in NCAP, and a top safety pick plus rating from the IIHS including good rating in all test modes and a superior rating in front crash prevention. The 2017 Accord Hybrid has received the updated exterior and interior styling introduced on the 2016 Accord. But we also sought to visually differentiate the Accord Hybrid from its Accord brother. The Accord Hybrid adopts model-exclusive blue-accented headlights and grille, blue-accented tail lights, and a uniquely sculpted aluminium hood, model exclusive aluminium alloy wheels, and hybrid badging. In the interior, usability of the center console area was also enhanced in the same fashion as the 16 Accord sedan, with a sleeker appearance and improved usability, along with available wireless charging. The hybrid model features exclusive EV mode and sport mode switch gear. For a sleeker look, glossy black coating is used for interior components such as the center console. In addition, the interior size of the console was increased to enhance usability. A USB connection can be found inside that area.